Mud. Mud never changes. Mud. It clung to the boots of ancient soldiers as they marched through the fall of empires. It swallowed the bones of forgotten civilizations, buried beneath the weight of time. Mud never changes. For the rise and fall of kings, the clash of ideologies, the, <laughs> the revolutions and revolts that swept across the world, the mud remained silent, indifferent. In the early days, before the great collapse, societies built themselves on promises. Technology would save us, money would elevate us, power would protect us. But all of that was rooted in the same mud. And when the flood came, be they wars, economic disasters, or social upheavals, it became clear the foundations were weak. Mud, in its quiet persistent, reminded us that nothing truly lasts except, perhaps, the potato. The potato verse wasn't born in the ashes of destruction. It grew, quietly, alongside our struggles. For the industrial revolution, when machines began to take place of men, the potato fed the hungry and the desperate. During the great wars, when nations bled into the earth, the potato nourished those who survived in the ruins. It was never seen as a grand, but it endured. It thrived in the soil, in the mud, adapting and growing while everything else crumbled. As societies advanced, we ignored the potato, laughed at its simplicity. But when the systems were built collapsed, when the financial markets crashed, when climate change began to erode the coasts, and when political corruption infected every corner of the globe, the potato remained resilient. It had always been there, a quiet foundation beneath our feet, waiting for the world to realize its power. History remembers the great cataclysms, the fall of Rome, the French Revolution, the world wars. These were not mere blips in time. They were tectonic shifts in the fabric of humanity. And yet, through every seismic event, there was always something beneath it all holding everything up, something rooted in the mud. A symbol of survival. In the potato verse, this was understood. The potato is more than just sustenance. It's the unspoken truth, the embodiment of resilience in the face of endless cycles of destruction. Now, we face new cataclysms. The rise of technological overlords who control our data and minds. The looming specter of climate collapse, where once fertile lands dry up and cities sink beneath the rising seas. Political divisions that tear at the fabric of our nations, fueled by false promises and short-sighted leaders. And as always, mud never changes. But the potato, it adapts. It grows. Look at us now. We live in a world where our own creation are turning against us. Technology, once hailed as our salvation, now monitors our every move. Social media manipulates us. Tech giants wield more power than governments, and the lines between truth and illusion blur daily. Our global economy teeters on the edge propped up by nothing more than confidence and the illusion of infinite growth. And in the shadows, the potato verse grows. People are starting to see the truth buried beneath the surface, that survival isn't found in grand gestures or advanced technologies, but in simplicity, in the things we overlooked for so long. The potato is a reminder of that, a quiet rebellion against the complex systems that now enslave us. In the future, all will be left. We can already feel the cracks forming. The new world will be built on skyscrapers and stock markets. It won't be governed by algorithms or controlled by corporations. It will be shaped by the mud, 
by the very foundations we ignored for so long. The Potatoverse is more than a metaphor, it's a philosophy. As the world continued to fracture, those who align themselves with the potato, who understands its lesson, will be the ones to endure. The potato teaches us that growth comes from struggle. In the mud, where others see only decay and stagnation, the potato sees opportunity. It thrives in adversity in the same way humanity has done through countless ages. But unlike humanity, the potato does not overreach. It does not seek to dominate or control. It simply exists, resilient and unwavering in the face of inevitable change. The struggle we face now are not unlike the struggles of our ancestors. The threats have changed. The bombs may be replaced by algorithms and the soldiers by machines, and the empires by corporations, but the foundation remains the same. Mud never changes. It's the backdrop of every human story, every rise and fall, but the potato rooted in that mud offers us a way forward. A reminder that survival is not about dominance, but about resilience. In the end, it's not about conquering the mud. It's about understanding it, about finding the strength to grow in it, to thrive. Despite the weight of the world pressing down, the potato knows this. It has always known. And as we face the next great cataclysm, we would do well to remember mud never changes, but in the mud we can still find life, we can still grow. The potato verse is that life, a seed of hope waiting for those wise enough to plant it.